There's no audio. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Hello? Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Hello? <laughs> oh, hold on. No, I have the perfect thing to say. White Chicks was amazing. Anyone? All right, maybe no. this. Is it working now? I mean, I can hear myself. Nope, and I can hear. Can you hear me? I can, yeah, I can hear, hear you. you. There we go. No, we're good now. Woo! We're fine. There mm -hmm. we go. Naz, you're silent too. Are you speak? Uh, okay. I'm gonna wiggle you over here. <laughs> Well, that was... Thank you. Beep, okay, boop, we're back. Beep, boop, beep, boop. So yeah, sorry for the late start. Um, dealing beep, with beep, some beep, food boop. allergies here tonight. We ate out at a uh, old favorite restaurant of ours, and they have added um, allergens that they know we can't have and did not tell us. So I'm doing okay-ish. Took some stuff to help with that. Um, my wife, not so much. Uh, she's gone back to complain in person. May or may not have grabbed my lovable but over the top mom to help her with that um this is oh, i love your wife awesome. so much <laughs> yeah she is awesome your wife is amazing. <laughs> so they might have two angry women coming in those doors any minute now because she even said at the register like she always does these are what we cannot have and they put them in there uh, okay so yeah. oh, marcus neil there you are give Sorry. them the bill uh, oh you know i already have marcus well, this is how it goes. We we trusted them so much. We were like, it's okay. We've never had a problem. We don't need the receipt. Ha <laughs> ha. Oops. But it's the same people, you know, as when we left, you know, like an hour or so ago. So uh, we brought the food home. We ate, you know, whatever. Um, anyhow, but we're all set to start now. Ah, uh, let's see. Where did we leave off? Oh, yeah. Um, recap. Uh, brief recap. Uh, everyone here has been shipwrecked. Um, half the party is currently Too safe far. in... Stop starting there. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Too far? Uh, yeah, that was like six years ago in-game. Like jumping into here. Not six years ago. It's been like a year since you guys got shipwrecked at most. I, I had to make her like 15 now? Yeah. I think it's been about nine or ten months now. Oh, so got Marcus probably 15. had a birthday. Wait, hold 15. on. Let me, let me ask, wait, how many months are there in your world? Are there the 12? I or? think I'm going with 12. I haven't yet decided. I haven't set the calendar. I'm still working on what the, the solar rotation period is for Phelan, but um, we can and say out 12. Out of spite. For now. Out of spite. It's oh, going, no. It's somewhere between it's 10 and 15. So Out of spite, it, she grew two inches. So, <laughs> okay. if we've been here ten months, Marx's birthday is upcoming. Oh, That's nice. Here. Yeah. All right. Um, is five days. So, where we last left off, uh, the the current party, uh, the party's kind of split between those who are currently safe and sound in a place called Sanctuary on the far side of the, uh, the desolate island. Um... One, uh, Sir Wellington, has been kidnapped by a, an archdemon that mm -hmm. Marcus has not told anyone about, nor has he followed up on any leads to rescue him. Oh. I had this wonderful six-week arc planned out of them tracking down and rescuing Sir Wellington in time for Ian to come back in two weeks, and they have started zilch of that. So Instead, we so instead yeah, instead they have gone to Callie's girlfriend's castle, 
to which be fair, is the bar- inhabited by undead and demons <laughs> or devils and are uh, chilling there while Marcus yells at Callie for bringing them to an evil based location and yep. Callie romances her sweetheart. Yeah, to be fair, Marcus while trying not to let he's, he's distracted. Know. He's distracted by everything. He's like, Ehh. priorities, and, right? Save and the guy also who... the go ahead. Oh. And also the fact that he was a major idiot and forgot there's in the necromancer tower. He's he's going through a lot. He's forgetful. Oh yeah, yep. that's right. <laughs> um, Abigail. My... Yeah, Abigail has died and come back. Um, because of this brief stint where she was dead, um, Naz technically has a second character who currently sits back silently and, and doesn't really do anything. Um, she's a, a wonderful undead, uh, reborn named, uh, Dahlia. Um, love her. Abigail has returned, uh, is technically alive now again. She's fully human, her dampier side gone. Um, so we will actually be picking up with Abigail, who has gone back oh, no. to the tower of her demise to seek revenge against her mentor. Um, no luck. He wasn't in the tower. Couldn't find anyone or anything. Do you, oh yeah, you were looking for your sister, but you also wanted to kill Histon. You know it. <laughs> yeah, but like later, but last time he spot, he jump scared me. <laughs> yeah, we left off with you hearing a noise outside and uh, uh-uh. going to a window, right? <laughs> It was uh, distinctly Histon's voice. No, it wasn't. I never said uh, Histon's yeah. voice. You did Histon's voice. And then I said, is he right there? And you said, yeah. We're yeah, gonna. I was talking about Alberion. They have similar voices. It's not my fault. Oh, okay. The other elf. <laughs> the I other old be... guy. <laughs> it's Alberion. He was right there behind you. He was, he, oh my gosh. <laughs> I should have clarified. Yeah. That's on me. I'm so sorry. You, you've you been sitting here in a week ter- for a week terrified that Hissin was right there. No, no, no. You hear a noise that's outside. What you saw was Alberion. He had come up from uh, Histon's laboratory with arms full of potions and other stuff he's collected. Oh, that's much less scary. <laughs> It's okay. Just a dude with some books. That's just the guy who's not going to immediately murder me. Eh, I mean, he might. You know, he now knows what you did in there, so. <laughs> he already knew. Did he not? I didn't know how you died. Whoops. Uh, don't <laughs> worry about it. Just casually planning our deaths. <laughs> you know, as one does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's okay. It's not like he's a that. level 20 wizard or something. He responds me. The what? He responded me knowing he was also responding a bunch of others who had died because of me. So you will say he had a general gist that you did something, and now he's just has a full (laughs) idea of what you did. Was it the all of the people ganging up on her? A (laughs) great well. Yes, as they staring were all daggered. waking up. Yeah, the ones staring daggers of you back in Alvarian's hideout. Those were all the yeah. kids you sacrificed. That was a good The hint. other ones that died in experiments here and stuff like that. Everyone oh, that was just... with the initial shipwreck crew that he was able to clone. The Alvarian yeah. is like, the hey, reason Callie have your penance. Yeah, yeah, the reason literally. Callie is now a Charmander. reason Callie is now a Charmander. Great. Right. Callie-mander. So, picking up there. Um, could I get an Abigail check from Perception, please? Yeah. What? A perception check from Abigail, please. That was... There you go. (laughs) I heard it. How does one roll in Abigail? (laughs) You don't want to do do it. it. You don't want to do it. How many kids do you kill? (laughs) Oh, gosh. (laughs) Are you sure you want her to do an Abigail roll or a Naz roll? Those are two different things, Mark. Yeah. Do you want me to do a Naz check? (laughs) A Naz check. (laughs) Perception. Oh, she's not seeing it. Uh, Nine. (laughs) Can't really see what it is, but there's something big outside. It could be a few miles away. It could be right on top of you. It's hard to tell, but it's loud. It's like... Oh, I can't see it? No. Okay. You can hear it, though. You'd have <laughs> to go outside onto the, onto the bulwarks to kind of look out and see it. 
Um, roll a religion check. How well does Abigail know God and her godless behavior? <laughs> 17. <laughs> Pretty 17. well. Nice. You do know what the sound is, though. It sounds like a, uh, a sonic attack from some sort of high-ranking devil. Oh. Dad? Oh, my. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> No. <laughs> uh. So Alberion and Dolores are now. We are regrouped. Yep. We've Alberion, checked Dolores, all the towers. Abigail, you're all together. You've checked all the towers. Histon and Mike are nowhere to be found. Yeah, Micah said she was in another tower, but she didn't know where. Mm-hmm. He is currently walking with the pervy monk. Actually. I mean, at this point. <laughs> I mean, if she has fallen through the portal, yes. I don't think she has yet. It's two oh. years. Oh, fair enough. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, we got a bit more time before that. That's a flash yeah. forward. Okay, never mind. Spoilers. I gave ample time to purge shenanigans between campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's great. That's wonderful. Okay, but that's a question for out, out of stream. You can just message um, it to me while it's on your mind, and I'll read it later. Okay. So... This can belong in the What would you like to do, Abigail? Stoner attack from a high ranking what? Some sort of fiend. Fiend? Mm hmm. Demonic or devilish in person nature. In person um, nature, yes. Is it that? Doesn't from sound this... happy. Okay. Do the others look like they hear it? Uh, let me roll a little perception checks for him. Gonna use real die this time. Yep, they both hear it. Okay, she's gonna. She's going to kind of look at the others like, what the fuck? Well, that certainly doesn't sound good. Thanks, I couldn't have deduced that by myself. Hmm. You are a cheeky one, aren't you? <sighs> All right, um... I'm going to suggest we stay undercover. This, that is nothing of this world and nothing we want to tangle with anytime soon. Should we try to see who it is? I will admit my curiosity does get the better of me. Um... Yes, I think that would be a good idea. I, I would like to, but well, not a good idea, but it's something I want to do. Dolores is just kind of, kind of shrugging. Well, I'll, I'll go wherever you two go. Is oh. there, like... There's no windows that we should just look out of? There's there's a window you can can look out of, but that's the one you were looking out of, and you, you can't see it from that angle, whatever it is. Okay. So I'm just looking at my spells here. Start casting shit for no reason. Uh, is there another place where we can try and get a look with still staying stealthy? There are a couple places, yeah. Okay. Can we try and go look at that? Can you sure. try and kind of... 
All right. Uh, let's see here. Roll stealth for me. Be nice. That's not nice. That's nine. <laughs> uh... Okay. He tries to spider climb again or something. <laughs> well, uh, as, as far falls. as you know, you're 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 probably being being stealthy-ish. Yeah, of as course. Yeah. You know. I believe I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> With the knowledge of having rolled a nine, I believe you. Right. Abigail definitely believes you. <laughs> Abigail's so stealthy. She knows she's completely she un undetectable. The, no one will know. The third oh, no. fall Who's gonna in like know? ten minutes doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna know. Does she see him at least? Um, as you move out onto the the kind of bulwarks, you are able to see. Across the wide open uh, plains, there's some lava fields ahead. Um, on the on on the opposite side of that, there is a large outcropping with uh, waterfalls of lava pooling off of it, pouring off of it. And on top of that is a large obsidian castle, and you see a pair of large bat-like wings flapping. And a uh, ooh, he, he looks small from here. It's a good day or so's hike away. Uh, well, not a yeah, half day, half day's hike away at least. Um, so he's he's pretty small from here, but the fact you can see him at all and make out his, his a big form, boy. he's a big boy. He's a That's big, a big boy. boy. Up close, this That's guy's a big probably boy. twenty feet tall. Hell yeah! yeah. Mm -hmm. Not gonna say it. Talking all. Talking all. Dude. You can't silky know me. It's always silky, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes it's silky no. No, it's always silky, yes. No. The reason we have plots because silky does shit. <laughs> I can't actually argue with that. Okay, the reason why we have chaotic plot is because. I was about to say silky chaotic does. plot, yes. It's because silky does shit. And her roles just give naturally to that. Listen. The dice gods demand plot for me. I I am just a conduit. <laughs> All right. So um, what does Abigail just want to kind of watch? Um, and is there anything that she wreck it like identifying features? Or is too small? Kind of small from here. Um. Oh, nice. All right. Sounds good. Glad you're doing okay. She's I love back. You. She's okay. Selkie says she loves you. I love you. Oh, I'm glad you're okay. She says she loves you too. Thank you. Everyone says they love you and they're glad you're okay. I couldn't understand what she said, but she said something back for you guys. Fuck yeah. Alright. Um Lost my train of thought. Where was I? Big demon that's small from this. Oh yes, angle. oh yes, oh yes. Um hard to tell from here. You Ba, 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 ba. With the religion check you made earlier, you can tell this is not a demon. This is some kind of devil. Probably an archdevil with that size. But you're not sure which one. Okay. She'll walk back in towards the rest. Histon's uh, not Histon. Uh, now I'm mixing him up. Albarian is still standing out there just like... Watching, oh, he's in watching interest. Too? He's okay, like, okay. yeah. You turn to go back, and he's just like right next to you. Didn't even hear him come up, <laughs> stroking his beard in fascination. Looks like a devil of some 
sort. No doubt, no doubt about that. Should we do any saying or just leave it no, I mean, to the people over there? Or just... Well, I was under the impression... Th um, there were undead and fiends moving to and from that castle. I'm not entirely sure what dwells there. But I always presumed it was nothing good. So Something it... undead or a fiend. All right, then why is he attacking it? Is he attacking it or just going there? No, he's uh, so he's he's definitely using his uh, remember I said it was a uh, sonic attack. Oh, that's on them, not yeah. on this one. Nope. Okay, he's noticeably okay. attacking the castle. Uh, well, don't they have like conflict of fiends? Some of them don't like each other. Yes, I suppose. Very curious, though. Very curious. Sure. Well, we will definitely monitor it from a distance if uh, it comes to it. We can attempt to assist any potential allies in the area, but that's not something that I would want to tangle with. Nope. Me neither. I, um... I think we should head back inside now. He kind of turns and ah! and his his two uh, acolytes who have followed you uh, as well are now out there and they're watching and she's like, okay, go back inside. And so he kind of hurries them in. Does Abigail go in or do you want to hang out there? No, she'll follow. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, panning over to... Callie and uh, Callie and her girlfriend Deidre. So when we left mm -hmm. off, you were out on the balcony of her bedroom, talking, and she looked up and went, "Oh shit, Dad's home." Uh, you look up and you see a being roughly twenty feet tall. Oh, thank you. I think so. They tasted fine. Yeah. I didn't... Okay. I'm sorry. Cool. Love you, Wavy. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you beat him up? Did All you right. win? Yeah. Did you beat him up and win so like he wants to know? Cool. Um, They were horrified. I heard none of that. Uh, she said they were horrified. Uh, gave her all her money back and offered her anything she wanted from from there for free. But at that point, Caleb was just like, "Nope, I just want to get out of here." Fair. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. What? Your throat's still burning. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, same. I I appreciate this, babe. Love you. We'll do. I always do. She says thank you, you guys, for the concern. She is okay. She's on Benadryl, so she'll probably be sacked out by the time we get out. Yeah. Um, okay. well, either way, I'm glad you're alright. Yes. You shoot out their asses. So, hell yeah. Like, food should be something enjoyed, not like Apparently the manage you. management didn't even tell their uh, their managers that they had put it in. So they just shipped them a shipment of meat without... Wow. Corporate shipped them meat without telling them, hey, yeah, we put new seasoning on it. You should warn your customers. That is... Cool. This is super dangerous. <laughs> right? Uh, they did the same thing when they added milk to their ingredients list. Management in the store didn't know. They had to call corporate, and corporate was like, oh yeah, we did that recently. You wanted to test it out, and they're like, you didn't tell us? <laughs> Anyhow. So you look up. Roughly 20 feet tall, wings flapping. These bat-like wings with large... I have horns on them. Um, jet black skin. He's got a little goatee and some slicked back hair. And glaring oh, down God. at you with these blood red eyes. 
should, should I hide? Should I go? Should I grab them? <laughs> should we leave? Um. And she's like inching in front of you as she speaks. She's like, uh. No, no, running would be a really, really bad idea. So we're just going to stand here and get caught? He's already seen us. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you do the talking. I'm not going to say anything. Besides, uh, yes, sir. No, sir. Oh, okay. Out of character. Thank you, Selkie, for saying, hey, DM, why not you do all the talking this scene? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, Callie's being smart at this point. But... Right, <laughs> I know. Listen, like... they're not supposed to be there. This was definitely like a dad's not home, come over party. All of a sudden, dad shows up and you're still there. And like, homegirl's like, no, don't leave. You're fine. It's like, mm. Mm. My dad doesn't know your dad knows I'm here, okay? <laughs> right. <clears throat> oh. As soon as he meets Callie's dad, it's gonna go bad. Anyway, continue. So he 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 flies up and he just kinda of looks down. Can to explain? Um Hi Dad. So Had a friend over while you were away. It's fine. She was just leaving. You know, mm -hmm. we're we're just good friends. Ran into each other. Um catching up about old times. From stuff. Yep. Um, just just on on my way out. Just going to grab my things. And I will be out, out of your hair. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, like I was, I was never here. I'm so sorry to show up unattended, uninvited. Definitely not unattended. We were not. We. <laughs> oh no, you're not going anywhere. Okay, okay. Is anyone else here? No, no, it's it's just her. It's just her dad. Is anyone else here? No. <laughs> Marcus, what are you doing in this moment? <laughs> In... No, no one's here. For the absolute purpose of comedic, you're very yeah. far away. Are you completely plugged in? Uh, hold on. Nope. Oh, now you're clear. Now? No, you're still very far. No. Nope, yeah. Hold on. How about now? That's yeah. better. <laughs> okay. Just in the pure, because this writer in me wants to see this happen. Can. Marcus, call out for Callie to be like, hey, I think I have an idea of how to get out of here. Um, like, as soon as she says, like, there's no one else here. I will allow that. I'll allow that. Um, I'm going to give him a perception check to hear him because you're a ways away. Okay. He, yep, he can hear that. that. <laughs> so yeah, the, down probably the hall, got like a you plus thirty to his fucking perception or some shit. Stats. Um, you can hear the echo of of Marcus going, "Hey, I think I found a way out of here," and yeah. he just looks down. He's like, "Gally, I think we found I found a way out of here. All we have to do is get Sir Wellington, and then we're all right." Well, I, so you don't know where Sir Wellington is. Yeah, that's why we need to get Sir Wellington. <laughs> I mean, I don't know exactly where he is, but we gotta find him. There was some evil demon-looking motherfucker that kidnapped him. So, that might be a little bit hard, but we can do it. 
while Callie just dying internally and externally. <laughs> oh, you need to found a way off the continent. Yeah. What did he find? I don't remember that. Uh, what, no. He found a portal. Dude, the portal to the, the portal to the necromancer. Tower. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So just whole phrasing. Hey, Callie! I think I was found us a way out. All we have to do is try and find Sir Wellington on the side that we can get the fuck out of here. He was kidnapped by some, like, arch-devil-looking motherfucker. But I think he might be tight with Allie. I'm not too sure. Either way, hold on. I'm coming. I, I need to talk to someone about this. What do you need? The Elvis. Across the room. Across the hall. Across the chasm. Marcus has a very loud voice. Apparently, it carries. Yeah, well, that goes pretty well in there. <clears throat> so, uh, hmm. Okay, can Kelly make a wisdom saving throw? Great. <laughs> How much is the bardic inspiration given from stream? I'd say a D8. So, like a plus is it a D eight? Uh let me see, what level are you at? Ten. Let me see. Hang on. I need to look it up. Because I got I got some inspiration from like a long ass time ago from stream. I can dig into my crystal spell. Da, 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 da. Just like it's a D eight. Stick. And add it's an ugly D eight. No, it works. Also, cool. It, is Eighteen. It also, is it just me, or is it kind of fucked up that monks don't get, like, a wisdom saving throw when it's, like, one of their highest stats? All right. I mean, it's not one of my highest stats, I'll be 100%. Um, well, like, they're important stats. Quick guess, question right? for you. What's up? How attached am I to my tail, Barry? Oh, Dad's listening. <laughs> He's being sinister about it. Oh, no. Dad! <laughs> Dad. <laughs> so, okay, just wanted to check something. Um, what name did Callie introduce herself as? Hasn't. <laughs> just Callie Nanka. Callie has not introduced herself yet. No, 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 to Deidre. Oh yeah, she used her real name. Okay. Because she's not smart. And to be fair, Marcus also screamed it when he arrived at the castle. So. Oh, that's true. He did shout her full name. Yeah, well, shout it out, the Callie. The full name that he knew, yeah. Yeah, shout it out, Shout it Callie. out, Callie. Yeah. Not right. the full name. We're not going by fey rules here. Calm your tit. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so, um, upon hearing the voice, he looks at him and goes, You brought him. Mm. The cleric. He just like grits his teeth. <coughs> after, he uh, he growls and then he grits his teeth. The cleric. Oh no. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just I. She. I mean, he's not gonna hurt anything. I mean, I've told him not to do anything here, and he's been very well behaved. Deidre, keep your pet close. I'll deal with this. Uh, well, see, um... He flies upward and around the castle. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm, I'm debating whether or not this is the same demon that kidnapped Sir Wellington, or, like, was with him and Allie in the cave. I'm like, I don't know which one I would prefer it to be. Who Wait, no, they're the same one. Hot twist. Um, Callie, Deidre turns to you and goes... Callie, <clears throat> I'm sorry for this. Um, 
stay here and don't move. Okay? I appreciate you, Born Scholar. I see you. Thank you. Keep me, keep me capped out of the Bardic Inspo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you mean you want me to stay here? Uh, you can't move or talk. Oh, bullshit. All right, cool. Whole Whatever. person. Fucking great. I failed a wisdom saving throw against a whole, with an 18? It wasn't a whole person. But you suddenly feel fully compelled to do exactly as she says. Oh my god, I got fucking enthralled. Shit. You did. You did. <laughs> oh shit, you did. Or I got or I got suggest or commanded. Suggestion or no, command. No, command is one word. Suggestion is the so, oh yeah, suggestion is multiple words. So I hear God enthralled or suggested. You Mother. got suggested, bitch. Fuck it. She tiptoes deeper inside. Um, what was your name? Claret guy? She kind of like looking around the halls. Oh, is... Dad did a hand of fate, and I don't know what hand of fate... What does hand of fate do? I think I that'll know. give me disadvantage at my next something. Yeah. The Marcus is exiting from the library at this point. He has his own personal notebook, and he's, like, making notes on, like... He has a checklist, because yeah. he's that kind of guy. He's like... Beat up Abigail. Out. Beat up Callie. Save Sir you know, Wellington. Get out of here. You know, like, the next to beat up Abigail, there's, like, an X across it. Mm -hmm. Whereas they can't do that. <laughs> There's get out of here, which he circles as like work in he progress. Knows, like, like find a way out of here. He that scratched off. Get out of here. That's a work in progress. Find Sir Wellington, and he has that like in three circles. That's the most important part. Three circles. Okay. And he's just writing down the information as he looks up to see <laughs> uh, Deidre. Uh, my name is Marcus. Why do you ask? Um. If you're looking for Callie, she's up in the tower, um, out on the balcony. Oh, good. I was about to say we. Does heroic luck work here? How do we no. issue a heroic luck? The what? How do we issue heroic luck? Ah. Uh... Ooh, you know what? That's I guess it's not like a, a bad roll. idea. Yeah, I'll Wait, give a reroll. What's heroic? what's heroic luck? It's a it's a Kralis thing. Oh. Did yeah. someone give you it's what we do luck? on. Yeah, dad. dad, dad <laughs> I dad like a reroll here. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's not a. Yeah. All right. I think it might. I'll. I'll give it a shot. See if it works. See if it works. See if it's too op or not. It might not be. Give advantage. I guess. I guess that's what an equation. Yeah, it's basically giving version. you advantage. Yeah, it will give you advantage. But no, that because is. heroic luck, you could roll worse. You're that's gambling true. it. Yeah, so this is better than regular heroic luck, I guess. If you give it advantage, it would be better. If you just say it's a reroll, yeah, that means it could be choose worse. The, choose, yeah, it could be worse. Ooh, I like that. It's a reroll. Yes, we're gonna give it's that like, try. Uh, what, <laughs> That's what, what is it that? is. <laughs> it, it's like that one fighter thing, Indomitable, where it's like you can reroll the thing, mm -hmm. but no matter what, you have to you take, take it that roll. Worse. No, Dad says it's giving advantage. <laughs> Does that mean we can take the higher roll when we use heroic luck and Kralis from now on? <laughs> nah. Hey, this Free is all between you points. and your dad. I'm not. I'm not gonna get involved in this shit. <laughs> See, this is what happens whenever you start fighting with your dad. You just do whoever is just sitting in on it. Just, <laughs> just have to hey, stay I'm... quiet. Shut up. Let it happen. So, mm -hmm. so, okay, I've been. No, I'm not gonna say that on the stream. Too, too dark. Anyway, it's an after stream talk. Huh? After stream. After stream, yeah. <laughs> if you remind me, yeah. All right. I'll forget. <laughs> so, Marcus, you go running up the tower to look for Callie? And it's like, all right. Appreciate it. Uh, I guess, hold on. Okay, his passive insight is a 19. Would that be able to see that she's scared? Or, like, nervous or anything? Hmm. Like, more than she usually is. Let me roll deception for her. No, it would not. She has been nervous ever since you arrived, so it does not appear out of the ordinary. Okay. It'll just not go. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, 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 
not. Does my, does my, hold on. Selkie? Yes. Even I just got poked in the butt with a bottle of water. <laughs> I got very scared. Oh, no. How the heck? <laughs> evens or odds? Call it. Evens. It was evens. He'll, like, kind of stop as he's walking up and turn to Deidre and go, Hey, uh, look. I don't know who the who you actually are. I know you're a princess and everything. But just be nice to Callie is all I ask, all right? Um, yeah, okay. Look, she really, uh, you know what? You, I'll let her tell you that. Anyway, I'm going to go find her. <laughs> And yeah, don't out me to my girlfriend right, right. <laughs> like, Wait Out a minute. me to my girlfriend. <laughs> that was actually the thing. That was a real good thing he called Evans because if it was odd, he'd be like, yeah, no, he's a, she's in love with you. <laughs> was like, Wait. She really yeah. likes you. I she wouldn't go you. as far as in love with her, but like... But no, don't worry. Dahlia's he's, right there. Don't worry. He is not going to out <laughs> his adopted lesbian daughter. You are fine. Mm. Please don't out. Please, as a word of advice. <laughs> Hello, other wife. Hello. They all say hello. Hello. My other wife. <laughs> but, yeah, no, he's just gonna say that and just go to Callie. Hmm. I'm working on an interesting detail. And I mean, he's not stealthing. He has no reason to stealth, so he's just like, do, do, do. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, okay, here's what's going to happen. Um, Callie will... Not Callie. Um, no, Callie is Deidre... incapable. Right, De Callie is incapable. Um, Deidre is going to be like, okay, th thanks. Um, Deidre is going to walk back to Callie and go, follow me. Don't talk. And she Do I get another save? Nope. You well once, shit, you're we've done been for. enthralled. Motherfucker, we've been enthralled. I'll give you this much. It's not enthrall. Except um, for my suggestion, because he can't do more than one suggestion. We'll see. She Anyway. Leads you down a number of staircases. How many person? Oh person? boy. Can you make a perception check for me? More 18. Another 18? Yeah. All right. And, but fuck it. We'll use my inspiration on this one, too, because... But fuck it. Whoa. 25. All right. <clears throat> really good. I'm a candle. I am a lantern. As you head down these spirals, you get to the bottom level and she opens up a small trap door. You need to leave and you need to leave now. I am so sorry. I didn't know he was going to be going back this week. Um, Can I talk? Oh, that's right. You can't talk. She's so. All oh, right, you can't talk. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, you can you can speak, just not above a whisper, okay? Okay. I need to grab Marcus and Dahlia and the others. I'll get they them can't... down to you as possible. But there's no time, and I need to make sure you're safe. Dad I'm... has a bad temper. I'm not leaving without them. Yes, you are. Go, and you feel utterly compelled to obey. Well, pull the fuck. <laughs> your body, against your own will, just starts going down the hatch. Deidre! Take care, Callie. I'll send them to you as soon as possible. Um, well, I don't want to get your hopes up. Marcus might not make it. I kind of sent him to distract Dad.
I needed something, you know? Otherwise, he was going to kill you, so. I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> He's going to spend a fucking glare cap. Deidre. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Maybe. And she shuts you, the hatch. You bring me my cleric. Restraining from saying gap. Marcus. <laughs> you reach the top of of the the tower and you step out into the balcony, expecting to find. Yeah. Callie. Instead, you see a massive body fly past and suddenly stop and spin around at the side of you. It... Hey, Callie, I... Oh, wait. Markham. Mm-hmm. Can I use a... I have stillness of mind. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Can, uh can use an action to end one effect of being charmed or frightened. Let me check something. Oh, th In see, six that's... seconds, I am <laughs> no longer. <laughs> that, that's, that, this is why I love monks. This is why I love monks. <laughs> Damn it, why didn't monks I make... Monks are fun. Why didn't I make Milo a monk? He should have been a monk. So this is against... <laughs> Is this, this is against usual spells, though, right? No, it just says end one effect on yourself that is causing you to be charmed or frightened. Hmm. I will allow that. Great. Six seconds. Um, but I you're going to have to roll it. to beat this because this is nothing normal. What is it? Another wisdom save? Uh, yes, it will be a, it will be a new wisdom save. Yes, she can use the heroic luck to reroll this if, if you roll low. <laughs> Dad, you want to get, you want to give me inspiration while we're at it just to add the eights to Are this? Are you just trying to make sure she gets out of this and then goes back to fight an arch demon? Is that, is that he's, the plan? Arch devil? Is that the plan? Listen, he's. Listen, Dad looks out. Dad's looking out. I don't know. I mean, this is going to put you in danger. You're currently out of it. Hey, one sec. All right, I'll wait. Um, I'll wait for Dad. We'll hold for Dad. So. <laughs> Marcus, Cause right roll now, initiative. Because right now, we're sitting at an easy breezy cover girl 21. Uh. Naz, as Dahlia is downstairs, uh, okay. you began exploring the lower levels. Yeah. You came across this one room with a series of uh, prison cells. Awesome. Sketch. Uh, 17 uh, for initiative. 17? Yeah. In one... You actually see someone in it. What do they look like? A small gnomish boy with wild eyes. Kind of sitting hunched in a corner eating some... Almost looks like bits of raw meat. Uh, he just glares at you like boy? a caged animal. Hi. Uh, what do you want? Um, well, I was just looking around to strike myself. Are you stuck in there? Uh, yes, yes, I am stuck in here. Do you want to get out? I would very much like to get out, yes. Okay. I keep trying, but the lock won't open. Oh. I'm just gonna look at the lock. <laughs> I don't know if I can do anything about it. 
Uh, rude. Won't allow you to give bardic inspiration? Huh. Rude. Oh. Hasn't been, oh, there's a cooldown on it. Lame. How wide are the bars? Probably about uh six inches apart. I'm here. Maybe I can turn you into a fly and you can fly out and then I can turn you back. Ooh, oh, that sounds fun. Can I buzz around and, like, buzz people's heads and stuff? If you want. Okay, okay. 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 Let's do this. Come here, come here, come here. And she's going to cast Polymorph on him and give me a fly. As a fly. He runs over and... Whoop! Turns into a fly and zzz right through and just kind of like zzz, and lands on your ear. And then bzz, zzz, 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 right around your ear. She kind of like giggles and kind of tries to get it off. And she's like, okay, well, I can't put you back if you're on my shoulder. Zzz, lands on your shoulder. So you want to stay a fly? <laughs> she keeps kind of like <laughs> okay uh, if you keep doing that you're gonna be stuck as a fly for an hour <laughs> yeah for an hour <laughs> All of a sudden, your oof. threat holds no sway <laughs> <laughs> it will be so long to for an hour be a fly everything is very big you will have to fly many distances. <laughs> you don't want to do this. <laughs> he, oh, he will periodically buzz your ear and then land on your shoulder again. Um, at this moment, can I get a constitution saving throw from Marcus? And uh, you hear the tower shake. The uh, castle yeah. shake, um, Dahlia. Oh, thank you. Okay. That's a 21. You pass. Oh, I don't need to roll. I just hear the castle no, shake. No, yeah, just like the whole place kind of... Okay. Kind of like how you could imagine it was with um, bombings during World War II when you were in the cellar. You just hear the distant thud and things rattle a little bit. Why did you say when you were? Like, Naz was there. <laughs> <laughs> we all know Naz is an immortal vampire, okay? Hey, that don't we all, we all say know that on stream. <laughs> it's not true. It is. For the record... It is it's fake not news. true. If you want me to explain to you why it's not true, you should just invite me in and I'll explain it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, if you give me your full name. <laughs> you should invite me in and give Selkie your full name to extend to and her an invitation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's only it's only being polite. Heaven knows I'm just a regular guy and it's just... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no, romanticize yourself. Believe in you're... what you can't be. Half elf, then. There you go. Well, you're also a himbo cowboy. Yeah. That's something. Uh, you are a himbo that's cowboy. A, that's a level above human. That is a, that is its own fair, yeah. category. <laughs> yeah, I will accept himbo cowboy. <laughs> anywho, anywho, let's get back to maybe fighting an arch demon. Yeah. Okay, wait. Marcus. Mm -hmm. Markham. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm who? so tired. Who's who? Markham. He is. So, this guy is definitely an arch devil, right? Uh, yes. This is the same one that you saw A talking with Ali and B kidnapping Sir Wellington. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, do I take any damage or is it just like. Uh, it was to see if um, it, it allowed the, the psychic damage to penetrate your mind, and you warded it out. So you're okay. good. So this is going to be a little bit of a risk, but I'm going to need the Archdevil to make a Charisma saving throw. Right. Has to be the 17. Huh. Huh? 
Marcus, did you just pull a Corinne and silence this motherfucker? Also, for reference, um, at this point, Abigail has now seen him because that sonic blast you heard earlier was this attack. Oh. All right. Oh, she did. So, did he make it? That's the biggest question. That's what this. I'm pulling up his stat sheet for. Okay, I'm I was saying. like, I already know this is like a huge risk, but I'm like, it's the only thing Marcus genuinely can do against this guy because he already knows he can't just hit him in a full-blown battle. Mm -hmm. You can't believe in yourself, Marcus. I am a level 10 fucking cleric. No, I you can not. <laughs> you can, and you can call your skateboard goddess Charisma, to come get her man. Plus <laughs> <Full Corinne>. nine. <laughs> oh, please be low. Please be low. Please be low. Please be low. Please roll like a six. He rolled a like three. A Oh, even yes! better. Yes. Even better. Okay. Even better. So, okay, so as the archdevil uh, hits him with this attack, which does disorient as, him a little bit. As he attacks, he's going to kind of land on the balcony and draw his sword, which is what he's, Abigail saw. <laughs> he's going to, like, kind of just look and recognize him and go, oh, fuck no. And he, like, not, like, fearfully, he is like so pissed at this point and he's gonna grab his amulet and just uh force it in front of him like a, like a vampire and he is now on his original plane of existence you cast punishment and, and guess what he just has to hold that for a minute and he stays there holy oh. shit that's huge <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so, so he just goes, oh, fuck no. You are going back to where the fuck you came from. And he just flashes. Boop, just little blade. As the blade is inches from your neck. <sighs> vanishes in a flash of light. And he is going to hold. Compels you. <laughs> he is going to hold that concentration for a all in fact, for a split second, Marcus thinks he's been killed because the force of the wind of the blade coming down on his neck still hits. The wind is just, and you feel this force, and you're like, he he slipped my throat. He's I'm dead. I'm dead. And then you like check, and there's no blood. There's no like you're like carefully feeling for the injury, expecting excruciating pain to kick in any second now, and no, there's nothing. You know so. Yeah, he's going to just hold the spell for past a minute, just to be sure. But Just in case he's... But yeah, no, he can't make any other saving throws. He just stuck there, and since no one is attacking him... Yeah. Well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bitch! Alright. So... <laughs> Good game. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Unroll initiative. <laughs> Unroll right? initiative. Right. Dude, Marcus got to do an actual cleric thing this session. And I'm, I mean, to be fair, I'm he's impressed. been healing. To be fair, he's been healing. You all, hear he a, what the fuck did you do from right behind you? Oh, boy. <laughs> and I assume this is just after the minute, or is it immediately? No, this is like mere second afterwards. <laughs> he is going to look her dead in the eye and go, do I have to banish you too, Missy? Because I'm sorry. I came up here looking for Callie, but guess what? All I found was your asshole of a dad who kidnapped our friend, by the way. I'm going to explore all this castle now. I don't give a fuck who you are. And I'm going to find him. We're going to go, and we are going to get the fuck off of this island. Your friend? What friend? Sir Wellington, he is a gnome child, which apparently all y'all think is a demon, but even then, like, if he is a demon, he is nicer than every single one of you. Did you, you put me up here to kill me? To distract me with your daddy and kill me? So I you needed know to get Callie to safety. Oh, wow, that is so fucking considerate. You know what? No. I lied. Callie is too good for your ass. Because a good friend wouldn't sacrifice 
the girl girl the friends of the girl she likes to save her. She'd be like, Hey, I'ma try and save all your friends and not sacrifice them to my fucking dad. She's panting very hard at this point. Well, he said this and quiet she's part just out loud. Gonna scream, <laughs> just shut up at the top of her lungs. Can you give me a wisdom saving throw? All right. I feel like Ooh, this is Shatter. That is... Ro- no, Shatter is Constitution. That is rolling high. Uh, let us see what Marcus's thing is. What is his saving throw? Oh, yeah, no. That is a 27. You feel this urge to obey her and just shut your mouth tight for a second. And it's tough, but you push through it. Ugh. Oh, I was. That is not what you do. <laughs> At this point, I am very tempted to banish you too. As soon as it's done, I will let you see dear old daddy. If it's been a minute, have I gotten back up to this point yet? Uh, it's almost a minute. It's not quite been a minute. Um, like. We'll Double dashing point, in the yes. whole bit. Yes, you can you can make it up to the tower at this point. Cool. I'm fast as fuck, boys. All right. You, yeah, you see Marcus just like leaning back to where he had banished the demon. So you see him point his amulet to the balcony as he's still talking with this girl. As you come up, and you, oh man, I knew this was a fucking terrible idea. You know what? Just, do you have a prison or a jail or something like that? Because if you do, I would like to go see it. And then we'll gladly get out of your hair, out of this castle, and you can just wait to, from dear old daddy to come back from the hells where he came from. Does that what sound the good? What fuck is happening? Your little girlfriend here just tried to get me killed by sending her daddy up here to kill me. Yeah, and I definitely came up here to stop that. Yeah, well, guess what? He is currently going to be rotten in hell any minute now. And I'm so glad about that. Callie, I came up here to save your jackass of a friend. I've changed my mind. Take him out. Can I get a wisdom saving throw from Callie? Not 20. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, what's that in a total of? 22. You're going to want to use some dice. I, did, oh. I don't have any more oh. dice. They haven't given me any uh, more inspiration. You have bardic inspiration. It was revealed I've by Bornsteller. I used it. Did you? Come on, that's a, that's a nat 20, though. That's a I used it for the perception Oh, you no. use the bardic inspiration for a perception check? Yeah. I really wanted to see what was happening. I didn't want to get the Boys and you're the best. <laughs> That's all I had to do was stall for time. <laughs> all right. All I had to do. I'd roll that I dexter do. D8. You're going to need it. That brings, <laughs> that brings me up to a 28. Oh. <laughs> Yes. You feel this uncontrollable urge to push Marcus off that balcony. Whatever your girlfriend can, says, she want you want to do it. But then you I manage make, to you manage to just barely shrug it off. Can I make this super hardcore and somatic? Mm-hmm. Of Callie going over, like walking up to Marcus like she's gonna do it. Yeah. It, Marcus just looking at her like, come on, you know he can resist this girl it's like she t- she takes out her her um her axe the whole bit it's like she's gonna fucking do it mark and still then turns wrong and then turns around to stand in front of uh marcus facing deidre with the axe ready so has it wait before we start has it been a full minute Almost. 
Oh, come on, at that? He's, she's, like, walking up all slow, like, and, like, dramatic thing? Come on, that... The dramatic thing. You... Well, let me roll to see how long it's been. Yeah, you got, like, two more seconds. Okay. Cool, I'll stall for time. Deidre, you wouldn't hurt me, and you wouldn't hurt my friends. Her posture, like, immediately, like, she tenses up for a moment. And then she kind of, like, relaxes and goes, Callie, I wouldn't hurt you and I wouldn't hurt your friends. Okay, immediate insight check on this. Bitch, no. Marcus does not believe this at this point. I'll do insight as well, because I just looked over at my sheet. I'm pretty good at insight. Uh, That is a 21 insight. That is a the dirtiest of 20s. She's being 100% truthful. Sweet. Don't have to kill my fucking girlfriend. Sapphic love story continues. She, she doesn't entirely feel like she has a choice in the matter, actually. Almost seems like she's listening against her will. What? Wait. Is there what some... Okay, hold on. Okay, I got a freaking unnatural 20 for perception. Who else is in the room with us? No one else. It's just you three. Okay. Does she seem like she's hypnotized or like... Yeah, can I do an arcana to see yeah. um, if she's being influenced? Okay, that's not anything. You may, that's yeah. A, that's, an, that's a 10. I don't think that's going to make that. A 19? Yeah, something's controlling her. Oh, motherfucker. Deidre, break it. Uh, no, no, please don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, don't. <laughs> no, don't break it. Callie, she was gonna fucking kill me. Yeah, and I will not let that happen. Uh, this is a lot easier if something... I usually do not. She's condone. starting to cry. Gonna put the axe away. Going to come up to her. Yeah. I assume it's been a full minute, so Marcus just gently. Has it been a full minute? Yep. It's definitely okay. been a full, full minute. minute now. It, he's just gently putting down his axe, just looking over his shoulder to make sure he doesn't pop up again. All good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Kelly, I know she means a lot to you, but do you think she's going to spare the rest of us just because she's sparing you? Either you wouldn't hurt anybody. You're not like that. No, I... I wouldn't hurt anybody. I'm, I'm not like that. Don't just copy me. You, you're your own person. Like, we... I saw it. Am I? I, I trusted you. And I couldn't let you hurt one of my friends, just like I wouldn't let anybody else hurt you. Yeah, well, your friend just did. If I had gotten here quicker, I probably could have stopped that. Says the one who led me up here to face your dear old daddy. Yeah, well, I didn't think you could do something like that. You're just a little no-good cleric, so-called. Well, this little no-good cleric just sent your daddy back. 
Callie, her daddy is the one that took... You know how Sir Wellington is gone? Her daddy is the one that took him. Sir Wellington's yeah. gone? Yes. I've been meaning to yeah, say well, that. Well, your little but... friend Sir Wellington isn't who you think he is, so... But you know what? I don't give a shit what you or those bastards at Sanctuary think. You're going to stay there. You're going to let us go down and free Sir Wellington, and we are going to leave. And there is nothing you can do about it. Callie, let's go. What do you know about Sir Wellington? He's a fucking menace is what he is. Well, yeah, I could have told you that. But that's... I have a feeling what you're worried about him for is not the same reason what I am for. Mark is just walking to the door at this point. When he gets back together, he's like, come on. What do you know? I know he's been disguising himself. I know he, he... He'd do whatever he had to to keep himself safe. You're not safe with him. Well, I feel a lot safer with him than I am with you. Or yeah, sure. Anyone else on this fucking island. Fucking. No wonder. He's a fucking. kid. What's so Don't threatening so about sure a kid? That. You know, Kelly, why are we listening to this? Come on. Where is he? He's in the dungeon. See? Dad has had beef with him for a while. Now you're just going to let him run rampant, I guess. Yes, I am. Because I am so sick and tired of every single one of you people saying that something's wrong with him. How long is a while? Kids five. Six. Something like that. I don't know. A few thousand years they've had a bit of a thing. Thousands? Wow. Are we talking about the same kid? She looks very dejected and just is kind of like shrinking. I want my mom. She helped get dad out the first time. Maybe she can help again. It took him so long to get out of here, you jerk. Hey, Mark is just seeing this smile. Hopefully he's a little quicker this time. Callie, I really hate your friend. Good, the feeling's mutual. Yeah, you can't love them all. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, Dahlia, where have you been heading to this time? Hey. Um, Happy is the gnome child, mysterious gnome child, still a fly? Yeah, <laughs> mysterious gnome, child. mysterious unnamed gnome child. Can I dispel that? Yeah, by only Wait, sitting you... on your shoulder. I'm going to dispel it, and as fast as possible, she's going to wild shape into a fly, and just uno reverse it. <laughs> Okay. Uno reverse. All right. Give me a perception check as you do that. Okay. Perception. Oh, that's a nice net one. She's got a goal. All right. that's All's good. Total of Fine nine. and dandy. Nothing wrong at all. Okay. She's buzzing. She's, buzzing She's busy. He's like. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to smash you. Seems to be having a blast. She keeps trying to get to his ear. After a little bit, she'll just well chip out. Like, ahead. You are very mischievous. Yeah, you have no idea. Oh, I have one idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah. Dahlia. So much. Dahlia is life. She is perfect big bean. Yep. They have nowhere to go. I don't know. They kept me down here. Okay. Do they not like you? No, not really. He he really doesn't like me. We should get you something like a disguise so we can get out. You makes himself look like a like an imp, a little tiny demon. <laughs> Does this work? That's perfect. Let's go. Just starts <laughs> trotting along next to you. So excited. She goes back and it's like she just picks a direction and walks. Give me a survival check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See if it's the right one or if you're just going deeper into the bowels. Yeah. Let's look just to see. Oh, actually, survival? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine. We can do that. Even with the shit roll. That's 16. Oh. Your instincts are shockingly good and you find your way back up. Uh, you hear muffled shouting coming from the floor above you. Sounds like Marcus and Callie. Oh. Those are my friends. Well... I think they're my friends. Hmm. One day more than friends. One day. <laughs> we should go see them. No, I mean, imp child. Um, yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. Okay. I'm just going to try and make your way upstairs. All right. I'm right behind you. Okay, sure to find her way up. Alright. Um, as you guys are working your way up, uh Callie and Marcus. What hey, do you wish up? to do? I assume Marcus has already moved like behind Deidre and just is waiting for Callie to just follow him. Callie, I'm I'm sorry. I really am. But it's not going to be safe for any of us if we stay here. Maybe not even you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Deidre, you're my friend. A very good friend of mine. I want to go home. You miss your mom, and so do I. If Marcus knows a way to get out of here and get off this island, I want to take it. I don't know where my brother is. I haven't seen him in months. I miss my, my parents, <laughs> my monastery. I... I can't stay here. Mm. 
you've been amazing. And honestly, I could have used a friend in this shitty ass place. So I won't ever stop being grateful to you, but I want to go home. And she's going to attempt to go for a hug. Deidre won't. I don't. Won't resist. Cool. Power play. She's going to try to kiss her again. Because they're awkward teenagers and don't understand a time. Um, no, yeah, she'll, she'll accept it. Sweet. She'll, she it's, will reciprocate. It's not very long. And then she's going to go with Marcus. As soon as Callie is close, he's going to put a hand on Callie's shoulder, both of them, and just not a mutter, but he's not saying he's going to. I guess he will say he'll just regret. I really am sorry. Going to walk past him. Don't touch me. You're going to turn and start walking to Callie and turn back and go. The breakfast was really good. Thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Keep her out of trouble, okay? I will. I promise that. You better. Uh, make a um, Make another wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. Ah! Okay. That's a, uh, give me math my head, 26. Okay, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you feel the urge to obey her and protect Callie with your life. Um, but you managed to shrug it off. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna just kind of chuckle go. Trust me, you don't have to do a spell for that. And he's just going to close the door and continue to follow Callie. Jeez. This is my teenage daughter, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda just comes in like, Here's me saying, close the door. It's like, ooh, someone's getting late. I'm like, no, I'm following my adopted teenage daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're not doing a fade to black. Yeah, it's not, not one this, of those. This, this, isn't, this isn't Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio here. This is <laughs> Pedro Pascal. No, Mark, I love Markham so much. For, I love you so much right now. Markham just said, he's not Leonardo DiCaprio. It's not a fade to black moment. <laughs> she's, she's looking at the okay. okay sorry that was just so I have to share that anyway <laughs> fair enough okay yeah sorry emotional damage now let's keep going with that yeah you are Henry this is Henry Cavill or Pedro Pascal not you know you know this is Pedro Pascal honey yeah not thanks Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> thanks but you're just a friend yeah. <laughs> you are strictly friend maybe daughter but definitely friend. no no I, I, I was quoting um dad in the chat oh <laughs> fair enough rude <laughs> rude sorry i did not i don't have chat up i'm on twitch up so <gasps> no, that's okay it slows down my computer if i can do fair it, enough so. would rather have you here yeah but no tell dad tell dad i appreciate it or wait, he can hear me. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, why are we telling him when he's watching the stream? I he can hear you. Understand that now. I... Dad can hear you. It's not just a, it's not just a, only his children power. I, I understand that now. Let's get going with the emotional damage here. Um, <laughs> he says he loves you. <laughs> I love you too, even though I don't know you. <laughs> love Dad. 
and dad loves you. Oh. Any whore. Any whore. So, uh, where in the, the things, yes. Um... In the world is Carmen in San Diego. Yeah, we're gonna, I what? assume, Cali. What? Carmen San Diego, the game, and like the. Where right, in the I world is Carmen San Diego? You haven't heard of where in, uh, Carmen San Diego? I played it before. Dude, it's awesome. It was like a cartoon, too. Yeah, it was a cartoon. It was amazing. Xbox game about you know it. how many so cartoons cool. I didn't watch growing up? Okay, Holy shit, enough. she was one of the like the key things that made me have my gay awakening. That is fair enough. I can ah. see that. <laughs> That's good yeah. to know. I didn't Between know her and Sinbad, it was, I was over. Nah. Fair enough. So, is Callie moving to the dungeon, I assume? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. He's just going to fall behind Callie. All right. Let's go. I am a candle. Let me light your way. Yeah. And he's just going to go, can, can I say anything to help? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, oh, he's just going to go. Can I? And, and of course, hush your tone, but I'm gonna speak louder so you can hear me. Can I? Can I say anything that'll help? Not really. No, you did kind of banish your dad. To be fair, I thought he was gonna kill me. He probably would have. She did tell me you might not make it out alive, and I couldn't. I couldn't let that happen. Thank you. For coming back for me. Yeah, don't make it weird. <laughs> have you met? Have you been? Have you done? Have you seen what has <laughs> happened for the last 10 months? It's been nothing but weird. Yeah, this is a really weird place. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't kidding. I really do want to come home. Me too. Hopefully the portal in the Necromancer Tower is still open and we can get out of it. Get through there. For now, let's go get Sir Wellington. Who is apparently thousands of years old. Yeah. I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I don't want to invigorate. I just don't want to make it worse, but just let's just go find him. Okay, but you'll tell me whenever we leave, right? Hmm? Like, do you know something about Sir Wellington that I'm just now realizing that he's a lot weirder than we gave him credit for? Look, I don't know what to think anymore, alright? I was... We were kicked out of Sanctuary mainly because Abigail had stupid fucking demonic things in my backpack. And the people there said the same thing about Sir Wellington, but I like to think they're both idiots, but I'm like, look, I'll ask. I know just as much as you do. And I just want to get to a place where everything makes sense. I just, I'm tired of facing fucking devils and being led to a place and have them turn out to be some fucking were devils that kill innocent people. I just, I just want to go back to doing wear, wedding ceremonies, fighting off the occasional bandit. And I just want to have a normal fucking life. That's all I want right now. And that portal is is my key to that. So as far as Sir, I, I know, and as far as I'm concerned, Sir Wellington is just a friend that is with us. And and if he's something else, fine. If he has to leave, if he is truly all for himself, fine. As long as he's safe and out of here. I mean, if it came down 
really came down to it. It's not going to come down to that. I mean, if it really came down to it, it would be defending ourselves before defending each other. Let's hope we don't have to do that. Because, I mean, I'll, I'll fight to protect you. I'll fight to protect Dahlia. I'll, pro I'll protect anybody. But if it came down between me or you, I don't know if I can make that decision. Hopefully you won't have to make it. Hopefully not. I don't want to make that decision. That sounds like a lot of hard work, and I don't want to do it. <sighs> yeah. He's going to look... I don't know how many Cali can see this, but he's going to look back to where Deidre was and just think about the fact that she tried to do that spell, and he just shakes his head and goes, yeah, very hard choice. Anyway, can we find Sir Wellington down here? As we traverse, traverse, yeah, traverse, 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 traverse. 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 No, you, you do not find him down there. Well, shut. You do, however, run into a uh, small imp uh, walking around trying to swat a fly. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, hey, little 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 guy, what you doing? Hmm? Uh, are you all right there? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, what you doing? Yeah, I'm I'm trying to catch um. Catch a fly. Hey, how does Sir Wellington not recognize that this is Marcus? I'm so confused. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, Have you seen a tiny gnome child? Yeah. Down here? Oh! He changes back into himself. Yeah! Sir Wellington? <laughs> Were you out here? I thought, thought you were... You were I, well, I mean... I didn't just say you were down here. I guess they assumed that meant you were in a cell. Yeah, what the... How? That... Okay. I have a lot of questions. Where? How, how'd you get... What? Oh, the fly let me out. The what? The fly? Yeah, the fly let me out. Uh, the what? what? This kind okay. of lands on Callie's shoulder. It's very warm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, how did the fly get you out of here? Um, it turned me into a fly. It. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna look at this fly Ooh. that casually landed on Cali. Yeah, it is. It is my tiny friend now. Uh, yeah. Apparently. This. this... Uh, uh, what do you did? It just it, a fly showed up and it got you out of the cell. Yeah. Well, not exactly. Well, what how exactly? Exactly. Uh. So, the fly was was a, was a person that turned into a fly and then turned me. It's confusing. Oh, that it was makes a person. A lot more sense. Okay, it, it was a person. Cool. Okay. So, and what then if she's going to back up and untransform. Like, oh, I thought we were doing a joke. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. The fly is not a person. The fly is a fly. Yeah, yeah. Wait, well, Dahlia, oh. you broke out Sir Wellington? This guy? Yeah. Yeah. He is going to immediately go up and hug her, like full-on bear hugger. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, oh, Dahlia you is wonderful. suddenly behind her. It's like, ah, oh, you Get wonderful. It. <laughs> and she's also going to and hug Callie as well. Okay, and, I'm being hugged like, now. Kind of lift her up. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, this is happening. Okay, okay. her back down. Okay, okay. so we're only 10. Uh, okay. Red. I, I am. Gray has gonna, become red. <laughs> he, he's gonna like <laughs> try and speak, and then he's gonna just hug Sir Wellington. Yeah, uh, he will reciprocate. Um. <sighs> okay. 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 Huh. Okay. We should get out of here. Yes. Oh long yeah. Story... Now that the gang is all back together. Yeah. Get out of here. All right. Long story short. Uh, devil that kidnapped you. I banished him back, so he's not being, not go, gonna be here for a while. I found a way outside of this island, possibly if it's still up. And yeah, we got a lot of new people, and we can get the hell out of here. Um. That what what devil? The. One that picked you up in the cave and kind of kidnapped you. Oh, him? Yeah, I kind of sent his ass back to the hells. Uh, he's not the one we need to worry about, though. Uh, what one do we need to worry about? Sir Wellington, what did you do? Can one of you explain something, anything to me at this uh, point? Yeah, what the hell? Anything. I'm saying anything. She's like, Sir Wellington, who do we have to look out for? Um, one that I might have made mad. Okay. That doesn't not... narrow anything down, kid. It. Yeah. Okay. Can you specifically tell me what this demon looked like? Devil. Well, mm, not exactly. It kind of can change form. Uh, do you know the name of it? No. Okay. This is utterly terrifying. Uh, you know, we're going to get the fuck out of here, man. Wait, 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 wait. Sue so Wellington, you just look like a little imp, like, ten seconds ago. Yeah, it was a disguise. Yeah. Can you look like the demon we're supposed to be concerned of just to get visual? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Don't hurt yourself now. You have to do a mini version of him. You can do that too. Oh, good because I can't get myself to grow. Okay, just okay. We'll we'll just we'll just have tiny version and then just like assume bigger. Yeah, tiny version. will know that he's big. Okay. Okay. Um. Him. Nope. I can't take that form. Uh, well, that's suspicious. it's gotta be like me. Two arms, two legs, and a head. Wait, how can't do otherwise. How many arms and legs does this thing have? Uh, kind of none. Kind of. Did it have wings? No, not really. It just kind of hovered. Uh, Marcus is going to do immediate religion check to see if that matches anything. Okay, go for it. Uh, what is his religion actually? Let me go double check that. Oh, that's actually way better than I thought it was. Uh, 24? Not bad. Um. It matches a few things. Uh, okay. Like, very deadly things? Uh, Naturally. yeah. <laughs> like, Naturally. Uh, I mean, yeah, but like. Are we talking like worse than the guy he literally just banished? No, not as bad. <laughs> oh. None of them are just as bad as him? They're up there, but they're not that bad, no. Okay. 
So you kind of just like... looked the worst of the worst in the face and said, go home. <laughs> and it no, worked. No, delete us. <laughs> Okay, I, I is... can't really pull worse than an ancient archdevil that decimated an entire continent that you just obliterated immediately. So wait, I just I just said the person that destroyed the continent to hell. To yeah, the pretty hells. much. Dude, <gasps> dude. <laughs> I have never. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that you, is so cool. You just one shot one of the biggest bads I've ever created. <laughs> <laughs> Without even getting any hit off. But there was no initiative. There was no damage taken. It was just no. Well, you rolled no. initiative, and then, you know, I, you got I one. I withheld his spell. Yeah. You literally. Okay, hold on. I get, Where's the gift for this? He because... went, and then you went, and um, he didn't He's even gone. get to use his legendary reactions. Dude, I. Oh, I love legendary it. Legendary reactions. Just... I love it so much. Dude, I feel so badass at this moment. <laughs> I can't, yes. like, <laughs> yes. like I knew he was an arch devil. I didn't know I literally banished the arch devil that decimated the continent. Um, I yeah. Well, Marcus is it he? Is it as? Is it Asmodel? No, Asmodeus is. Uh, well, that's a story for another time. But it's well, not like, Asmodeus. I, it is like, not I, Asmodeus. It is uh, like, Hadeon. No, Asmodel. Uh. Asmodal? No, is. Asmodal is is also not. Well, that's another story for another time. Also, you know, I mean, I know Marcus doesn't know, but I know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so proud of my little cleric. <laughs> Tiny little level ten cleric. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that has. I'm gonna be riding that high all fucking week. Anyway. <laughs> I believe that. Anyway, uh, back to the thing. Marcus will like hear the description and go. All right. So good news is, there's nothing as bad as I just ban as the one I just banished. Uh, bad news is there could be a couple of them, and I don't know which one it is because there's surprising. Uh, surprisingly, there is a lot of demons and arch devils that don't really have a body or tor did it have legs, or was it just like a torso and a head? Mm, not even really that. It was kind of worse. It Can was I just... make a religion check? Because monk shit? Sure. Don't See if it's anything monk... you might have read about. Don't mo Yeah, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a ten. Ten? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're not sure. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> got nothing. And nothing um, for me. You slept through that class. <sighs> yeah. Either way, point is... We already did, dealt with that. And he's going to point up to the direction of the balcony. And if we do have to deal with this, hopefully I can get just as lucky. But if we need to gather everyone, we need to get the hell out of here right now. Yeah, I just don't want to be here anymore. So why don't we just go? Yeah. Uh, Find something else. Somewhere else. Right. Okay. Uh, Mark, Mark, where was everyone? Uh, kind of spread out throughout the castle. It'll take you. It'll take you about an hour or so. Um, while okay. you guys are are spending the next hour or two, um, rounding up people around the castle, um, uh, could I get uh, another perception check from Abigail? Also, Marcus. Oh, Abigail. Just... From mm -hmm. Abigail. Oh, Abigail. Nice. Okay. You know, Abigail's still this... present. This is true. I Marcus, forgot. We don't have to roll pace, but Marcus will also use his. Uh, sending stone to notify uh, Dorsha. Dragon and, Mommy. Yeah, he will call Dragon Mommy. All right. And tell her everything that's happened, and that they found Sir Wellington, <laughs> and that he banished an arch devil. He's gonna be particularly proud of himself for that, and he'll meet up with them halfway. Uh, she will reply that she is very Do proud it. of her dragon daddy. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and looks forward to meeting up. All right. They're so fucking cute, guys. Like they're real fucking cute. It's a twenty. It's also kind of gross. Be a hundred. Gross? Why? It's all kind of gross. Gross? Yeah. It's Just like, a little. 
it's mushy enough to where it's like, ugh. Mm. Mushy. Uh, All right, I, cavities are for forming. Stop. Okay, okay. I, I love that mushy shit, so I'm like, just bring it on. <laughs> No, like the mushy shit is great. It's, a, it's great that it's all very sweet. But now cavities are forming. You gotta calm it down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, um, what did what did Abigail roll on perception? Twenty five. She's looking hard now. Twenty five. She's um, been looking real hard. As you turned away, all of a sudden the 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 large. Devil just vanished in a flash of light. You're like, you you could have sworn he just disappeared. I don't see any other figures. Uh, with a twenty one. Twenty five. Twenty five. There's a tiny speck that the flash seemed to emanate from. Uh, roll Arcana. Okay. Is 16? 16? Yeah. 1 6. Uh, that looked like a banishment. From your knowledge of spells, that looked like the spell banishment. Nerd. There was. <laughs> there was a, a figure on. You can't make them out. They're too tiny. They're just a speck from this distance. Um. But you have a, you, notice you the, have an idea that candle? there is uh you see a you see a flicker of light over there and that's all you can really tell is there's some sort of light out there you can guess there's someone probably standing over on on the uh balcony oh excuse me uh there's probably someone there who was the the initiator of that spell you will respect my flaming gay he's just as she keeps looking, she's like, oh, shit, you just got fucking banished. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't need to help them. <laughs> it's like, we got a problem. Oh, problem's gone now. Shit, they got fucking banished? We don't need to help them. Yeah, she said that to Albarion. We don't need to help them. These motherfuckers got oh. fucking banished? Wow. Shit, dog. <laughs> crazy that's that's impressive you see that you oh, saw the fuckers got got fucking stick bugged man got nope out of this world that's um that's some pretty impressive magic yeah all right well i guess they don't um i guess they don't need us probably not Do we need them? <laughs> Do we need them? That's... Abigail, how well dressed are you right now? She's like, no, I'm fine, pink. but I just got pink clothes on. Yeah, she's right. got the pink and the pink yellow and pink. yellow shit going on. Oh, her oh colors. it's like a goth's worst nightmare. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's not even pastel goth. She's just oh, pastel. wait, it's not no, even it's pastel. That's right. I mean, I need to send you the design of the dress at some point. Wait. <laughs> Don't do it. No one's here, right? She didn't see anyone. What do you mean? She didn't see anyone here where she is. No, why? She could just go steal Coraline's clothes, which are gods. It's true. She could. She could. It's not magical, but she could. Well, the clothes she has on aren't magical. Yeah, they are. That's why they're preserved all these years. Oh, what, what do they do? Uh, hang on. <laughs> Debate time. Do I want Marco. do I want to be goth or do I want to be magical? This it depends like, how good the magic is. I want to be goth this, but, this, but like basic. This is literally the meme of like this armor has better stats, but this armor looks cooler. Yeah, basically. Literally. The other armor isn't even armor, it's just goth clothes, but at it's, least it's not pink. Just goth clothes, <laughs> magic clothes. That's yeah. what she has to deal with. This is the great debate. I still believe you can press the digitation fucking magical item. I still believe it, but I understand your argument against it, but I still believe, like, you can change the color of it. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you can also make marks appear on the surface of it, so right. you could technically, like... And the thing with uh, magical items is that, well, okay, that's a problem. My computer updated. It logged me out of um, D&D Beyond, and I can't get back in. A oh, problem. So, well, you're still alive. This is a sign so, yeah, that just... I should just go for the goth book. <laughs> it's powerful. Is that, is that it's what powerful. This... I'll tell is you that, that what much. the powerful? Is. It's very powerful, yes. Damn it. I don't know what that that could mean anything. Yeah. Like yes. Callie has a robe of many items. That's very powerful, but like <laughs> All right, if it, I have to log in. A I robe of will useful do items, so. excuse me. Ah, sign in with Google. Google. Goggles. Google. Hey, there we go. Okay. That was surprisingly quick. I just hit the wrong button. All right. Abigail's magic dress. Here we go. Abigail's. Abigail's. What happens whenever Abigail becomes a fish? She becomes mm-hmm. Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You are a fish. But just remember, kids. You're not a fish. You okay? <laughs> Polymorph is something different than believing that you are not a fish. That is true. Can fish believe you, they're not fish hard enough? You can believe yourself to polymorph yourself into a fish, but you yourself are not a fish. Fishy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a fish. Don't try to. Fa- don't try to. This is like a green glass door thing, which we still need to play. Yes. It <laughs> is a people. dress of protection, which I do like AC. Increases yes. your AC by three. <gasps> squishy mm. wizard. Mm. Squishy <laughs> wizard, not so squishy. Yeah, you don't die. I'd rather die than wear pink. <laughs> okay you know what can... you can say that with 100% honesty now because <laughs> Abigail will fucking die she will she has but she was wearing black um, at least she was wearing black the first time Can yeah, is there sure. a cloak that she could put over it yeah you could probably find a cloak to wear okay. over it okay we'll do that at okay. least <laughs> Okay. I went ahead and so made no, sure it was what... in your inventory no one will know Ooh, that you're notes. wearing pink because that. No, <laughs> no one will know. If anything, my dark if secret. Any, <laughs> if anything, you need to maintain the status quo. <laughs> That's Look her worst that. part. Your AC is seventeen with it on. Oh my god! You oh. have a higher AC than Callie. Look at you go. <laughs> what? Callie's hey, a... fine. Callie is not wearing com- armor. Oh yeah, she's a monk. Do- but oh, do monks, they- like, but monks, when you get like high uh, dex and high wiz, oh, you don't have high wiz, do you? I don't have high wiz. That I makes sense. Pretty chill wiz. Because wisdom and dexterity make up the unarmored uh, defense. So yeah, but I have to start putting points into my strength so I can start wielding my giant axes. That's a Although now, to be fair though, if you have a high enough charisma and high enough, not high enough charisma, high enough constitution, high enough charisma, my charisma is negative no. one, bro. <laughs> high, high enough constitution and dex, you can make up for it. Although I don't know what her yeah. dex is. Sounds like Bajra. Bajra has great charisma. I don't know what you're talking about. She's just got low intelligence. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not sure I believe that. Bajra's intelligence. I put points into Bajra's intelligence once since we started. She started at a like she started at like a seventy four intelligence. She's at a crisp crisp seventy seven right now. She's passing all her classes barely. <laughs> barely. She's paying attention. C's get degrees bit right here. Hell yep. yeah. That's I've also never my heard that. You never heard really? of get degrees? No, that's oh, horrifying. Oh <laughs> that was my motto for like half of my sophomore year. It was senior Jesus year for degrees. me. 
ugly on the leech. What are you talking about, Delirious? Bodman's beautiful. So is Callie. I don't know who you're talking about. We've all admitted, like, we've all admitted that Bajra is hot, but we can't say it so well because Bajra is 17. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's just not good at talking. She's 15, give her time. <laughs> okay, so she'll she'll keep on the pink, but she'll put a cloak over it, and she'll yeah, she'll still ask the same question regardless if we need them. Uh, if they can banish an archdemon, archdevil, um, we might actually. Focus, 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 focus. I still haven't focus. found Histon or my sister. She said she was in another tower, but we checked all the towers. I don't there we go. want to get distracted. No, all right. Uh, well, let's see if we can find a clue as to where they went then. And... Uh... <laughs> We'll figure this out. I'll help how I can. Does anyone know how to locate people or... You mean like a, a scrying spell? That could work. Oh, I can try. Right, let me see. Uh, <clears throat> uh, tell me a bit about your sister. Uh, describe her to me. So she... She's going to look a lot like me, but smaller, shorter. Um, she has... Also human right now, unfortunately. Um, her hair might be green or brown. I'm not entirely sure of the progress of that at the moment. It might actually be any color, to be honest with you. Um, All right. Anything else that might be important? What does that mean? Like, um... Uh, like, um... Descriptions of, uh... Her height, her... Well, I guess clothing, hair, uh, those can change. Um, eye color, how about that? It's like, like mine. Well, never mind. It's brown. She has glasses. She's like, I don't know, five foot something. She's 25, I think. I'm hesitating because I don't know what the year is. <laughs> hmm. Abigail would know. Are, are you give... quite sure that this is your sister? Because you don't seem to know that much about her. What do you mean? You asked me a description. Uh, yes, the more I details I have, the easier this spell will be. And you don't seem to have very much data that's of use the fuck i didn't measure her goddamn waist measurement the fuck do you want me to give you all right all right never mind never mind i can um <laughs> i can work with this 
<laughs> Wait, <laughs> well, but just ask a question. I will probably know it unless it's like, I don't know. What's the girth of her fingers? I don't know. <laughs> All right, what are Being her fingers? Mm -hmm. I just said I do mm -hmm. not know. I know, I am joking with you. <laughs> She's like five foot two ish. I didn't measure her. She's small. She probably has something at this point with her, like a rat or a bat or a cat or something like that. A spider, maybe. A rat or a bat. <laughs> a rat or a bat or a cat, something like that, really? <laughs> <laughs> that was completely unintentional. I'm still spitting bars over here. Right? <laughs> Holy cow. He has glasses. They're magical. Ah, that is of use. All right. Um, I think I have what I need. And she has going... the same tattoo as me. Wait. She has a sigil <laughs> tattoo on her. She has a lot of tattoos. Okay. A lot of tattoos. You couldn't describe these tattoos, could you? Yes, I could. I had fucking tattooed them. Can you give me paper? I can draw them if you want. Okay, that would be great. That would, that, yes, that would be wonderful. Um, you will find some paper for you. She'll just draw, like, a couple of the quicker ones. Okay. Like, this would be on her arm. This one is on her leg. This one here is like on her wrist. Okay. Perfect. All right. I am ready for the spell to begin. <clears throat> he kind of uh, takes a moment, readies his components, and kind of goes into, seems almost like a trance for a moment. His students, of course, watching every his every move. One of them has like a little journal out and she started taking notes. Kind of adjusts her glasses and makes sure she's writing that's everything right down. Um, are we sure that's not my cut? Seems like my cut. <laughs> <laughs> These are just studious wizard kids. This is what they do. Ah, uh, frickin' eggheads. <laughs> Um, after a second, he kind of goes, well, I've located her. It's not sure. Um, she is not on this continent. Did she go through the portal? But she said she was in a tower with Histon. Oh, she's in a tower. I don't know what Histon looks like, but there was an individual seated on a throne next to her. Um, kind of an older older chap. Um, Is he ugly as Spock? I mean, I I thought he was, but... Uh, That's Histon. Not exactly um, sure what kids' standards are these days for ugly. It's Histon. Um, he definitely appeared to be a bit of a jerk. Um, yeah. But uh, your, your sister is in a bit of a pickle um she appears to be made of marble she just talked to me 30 seconds ago well either it happened after that it is possible that whatever spell wait, you cast wait. Was able to... hold on <laughs> she was gonna cut him off and pass sending again and say where are you? Are you Marvel? <laughs> you have 25 words. You can use them. Yeah, you yeah. can do more than that. You can use more than that. Okay. Like, well, I don't think there are a few words, but you've got 25. She's like, sister, where the fuck are you? You're Marvel? Are you Marvel? But I need an answer. Are you Marvel? Where are you? The six. Yeah. What else do I need to say? That's it. She can respond Bitch. with her... <laughs> bitch. She's where where are you, bitch? <laughs> Which way you at? Her yeah, I know Naz's height detector is way off. What? What it was? Dad's talking in the foot. chat. 
Dad huh? says you should live stream you trying to take him on because he doesn't think you could do it. No, what, do, what like, has happened? Make the, make the drawings live. Oh, make the drawings live. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm just reading all these as one I'm continuous lost. sentence. Who is challenging <laughs> me? Too. Dad. Dad. Come here. I will <laughs> punch you. I will punch you very hard. <laughs> this is a threat. Just. <laughs> No, I can hit hard. Why does no one believe me? I can hit hard. I'm. Yes, I admit... I, I'm clearly behind on the chat. I'm no, caught I up don't now. <laughs> Naz, I don't. I don't doubt that you can punch hard. You, you, you and six-inch platforms don't even reach my height, my love. Mm -mm. Like, yes, I do. How tall don't are you say that. Platforms? Tall. Are you six five? In really big plan, no. I can do a chasse. I know how to do a chasse. I used to be in the circus. Okay, fair enough. We're in the circus. This is fair. Yep, that that is, was that in the circus. Is, yeah. I know the chasse. How do you say that in English? Still? Uh, yes. Still. I used to have the six foot stilts. So suck it. I will so step you on your feet like with stilts. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, my seven words that I need are where are you, bitch? Are you marble? <laughs> <laughs> you have coaxed me into adding a bitch in there. <laughs> um, You get back rude. I am in the tower with Histon. No, I'm not marble. Why would you ask that? It's too wordy. You only need... <laughs> Rude, no. Okay, <laughs> In fine. Tower. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's fine. Fair enough, fine. Yeah, well, it's your character. I'm just trying to play her. No, 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 no. I'm not sure. You want, you want to play both Abigail and Micah? No, again? I don't. I will happily I'm just let making... you talk to yourself. Let's no, make Naz really talk don't. to herself, everybody. Become a DM. No. <laughs> talk to yourself. Become the DM, Naz. Become the DM. Become no. the DM. Just, just no. God forbid you never have to do a scene where there's 12 characters Eight of them are NPCs, and the players turn to the NPCs and say, what do you guys think? <laughs> I've done that before. Holy crap, my boy, my throat was so sore. After no that. kidding. So many voices. Uh... Okay, so she's going to stop and turn to Alberion and be like, she's not marble. She just fucking told me directly into my head. Well... I just scried on your sister, and she is very clearly marble. Uh, no. She's not marble. She just told me she is not marble. I have sent to her a message. And she replied to me, saying she is not marble. With Histin. <laughs> hearing voices again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Abigail, you're just hearing voices. Just hearing scary, voices again. Scary voices. Scary voices. Okay, well... Scrying doesn't malfunction like that, so either something else is going on, you could be talking to a demon that's trying to lure you into a trap, or honestly, I don't know. I don't know. There are a million different options, and a, no, 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 fuck, I can't speak right now. None of them are good options. I know how to cast a simple sending spell. What are you insinuating? That my magical skills are far beyond yours, and if anyone is more likely to make an error, Ooh, it would be you. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, she her. goes to like Drag her. say something, <laughs> and then she kind of like sit, like accepts. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Whoa! <right. laughs> She's like, okay, fine. I know, right? It's like what? it happens in Kralis too. It's like a thing that happens and a lot traps in D&D and, &D and stuff. <laughs> Hearing voices. <laughs> Hearing voices, yeah. I... She's not... I don't know what to say here. <laughs> she's I'm not on the continent, but she's marble. Where? Um, She appeared to be back in uh, Veltala. What the fuck? Did she go through the... But Histon was next to her? 
I, I, I'm guessing so. Okay, I mean, can you describe the old the man? Old guy, okay, he had kind of grayish hair at the temples. Uh, other than that, it was kind of a um, silvery black mix pulled up into a little bun. Uh, he had a short, uh, he had a black goatee, um, fancy red and purple robes. He wore a little What's... crown on his head. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> Okay. Was he pointed pointy elf ears? No, no, no elven ears. I can't What's fucking Easton? Oh. Who's this he bitch? He actually wore an earring in one ear. <laughs> no, he would have one ear in one ear, but holy shit. What the fuck? Fuck. I, this is one of those cases where I really wish I had Matt right here because I would just. <laughs> I, 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 uh, yeah. oh, ooh, no. I know you know who it is, Matt. Wait. So, so she was marble. Yes. I what did you see? I saw a large throne room, a uh, number of uh, marble sculptures on various uh, pillars throughout it. Um, she was on one right to the left-hand side of the throne that this individual was seated on. And there was a, uh, there was a, a little marble rat on, on the uh, pedestal with her. Other Micah stole it because <laughs> she thought it was hers. <laughs> she hasn't gotten there yet. Oh yeah, we're still two years before that. That's true. <laughs> oh fuck. Wait. Okay. Wait. But the, then that's, this this yeah, we're Star this. Warsing this. You like Star Wars? <laughs> we're doing the stories out of order. Okay. Jesus, this is Does Abigail <laughs> recognize the description then that he gave her? Can she roll like a history or something? They they just. Does Abigail not know who this guy is? That's true. If she was with uh. A, what was the vampire nation? Adania. Adania. Ad if he was with it, if they were with Adania, she was with Adania, he, she would know who this is. Roll yeah, this a history very check. Not. <laughs> Roll a history check. Okay. I know who this is. I know who this is. It's, it wasn't focused on him. He just saw kind of a, a shape. Okay. 22. Oh. Fry is, is very He's like, One around second, one second. Target. Um... I can go back and I can scry on him to get a clearer image of him. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> and he's going to kind of focus again. Uh, Matt, can you pull up Vladimir's character sheet and roll a wisdom saving throw? Ah! <laughs> the fuck? Man, sorry. Dead, so for those who don't heads. know, when Matt and I first met three-ish years ago, this was yeah, his first like character who rose to uh, become pretty much a BBEG. Second took character. over a nation. Milo Greenwood, Milo Greenwood was terrible guy, first. huh? Yeah, Milo, Milo was first. Was, Milo was Milo first. first. That's right. Uh, he was your was second. second. Vladimir was your second character. That's right. Started with a one shot that turned into its own like whole campaign thing. Oh, that's a. All right, see you a bit, Dad. That is that is a twenty three for the wisdom saving throw. He goes to focus and just kind of gets um, blasted out. Oh, wait a minute. No, I need to see what the check is because he has all those descriptions. Hang on. Hold on. Can Because if that happens, can uh, Vladimir try and trace where it came from? Absolutely. Oh, he's going to do that. Wait, and she's already marble? Yeah. Wait a minute. You were smart before already else. <laughs> that means that so the, the wish happened. No, she got marble way before. She got marble before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's Damn. From she was wish. captured early on. She tried. Yes. To, she was trying to be an inside spy, pretending to. She serve did for a later. while. She did for she a while, and like then later. she she went for it, and then it yeah, didn't go then well. she tried for like this heroic oh, rescue attempt, escape mission thing, and it backfired hard. Yeah. Um, oh shit. 
All right, let's see. So. Okay, eight plus spellcasting modifier plus. So much math is happening. Oh my goodness, Dakota, stop eating your feet. This is, now is not the time. Okay. So yeah, that is the a world's collide. For the saving throw. That is a what? 23 for the saving throw. 23 for the saving Vladimir. throw. Okay. I'm going to look over his character sheet because I got to see. Don't. I almost like really threw out my elbow being really excited. Careful. <laughs> like, okay, so. Honest. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, it's just like if Vladimir gets to interact with Abigail, I'm going to be so happy. Anyway, continue. Okay, uh, da, da, there we go. Um, second hand you've heard of. Okay. He fails it by one point. <gasps> with everything he has there it makes his his base is 19 mm -hmm. he gets a plus five for the things he knows of his description from seeing the other scrying spell which bumps him up to 24 no freaking way but oh. i will say vladimir can sense that he's being scried on okay he is going to can he trace it back at least? Or what can he yeah, do? he could trace it back. Uh, roll okay. an Arcana check for him real quick. Oh, like Vladimir's like second highest thing. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Okay, I'm going to look up the step, but he got it at 20. Okay. Uh, We're playing and, with level 20s now, motherfuckers. And his Arcana, so yeah, that's a 30 Arcana. Yeah, no, yeah, you can definitely trace like, this back you are and here. send a rival scry spell right back. New. Oh, yeah, he's doing that. Yeah. Couple of level 20 wizards shooting scrying spells back and forth at each other. He's not a wizard. He's scrying. Wizards yeah, and sorcerers, okay, spellcasters. No, man, you be, you, listen, man, you, be, you better not act a fool with his assassin right there. So he scries back, and, and as it comes into more focus, he goes, "Okay, so that was Emperor Goff. Are you at all familiar with that name?" Gosh. Why is she there? I do not know. Why is she marble there? I also Wait, do not know. Hold on, hold on. She points to Dolores, who is still here, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yep, she's there. She's standing there, kind of like, looking very <laughs> confused and very concerned. You met in the rebellion. Yes. I thought she was... She was disintegrated. I saw it happen right in front of me. Then why is she marble next to the fucking emperor? I, can, I don't know. Can. Unless And the... also next to his then? Somewhere else in a tower? Can Vladimir send a uh send a sending to the location? Um Yes. A... Mm, sending of what? He's a... gonna, he's gonna do that to the location, and I assume it's Alberi on the hears. He goes, "I saw what you were trying to do." <laughs> I know the characters don't. What do you think you're doing, little wizard? Oh, that's very cute. Very cute. Good to hear from you again, Vladimir. 
You only get 25 words? Alberia. It's nice to see you. You know, I get reminded of you every single time I see the statue of your wife. She's so lovely in marble. Bitch, move. I'm not even going to reply to that jackass. One day I'm going to remove his miserable head from his shoulders. What the My, fuck I'm are a, you saying? You can't Amanda, say that shit. Amanda just cussed me out for that. She's <laughs> so mad at me for saying that. <laughs> Stop rooting for Vladimir. The guy's a jerk. <laughs> so can I believe in him? Can he see anyone else, or is it, is it just uh, Alberia? No, uh, everyone else would be a little bit fuzzy, but he could see shapes and colors like uh, like. Albarian was with him. Okay. Can he send a sending to the nearest shape and be like... Let me see how sending works. Making me yeah. check all these rules? Uh, Feeling like Matthew would be Mercer up, here. It would be up to you. It would be you if know, you allow it. I mean, it says a creature you are familiar with, was, so I don't... I'm going to say no because you know. <sighs> Yeah. Alberian, he's familiar with because those two have had beef for the last several thousand years, thousands of years. Yeah, kind of turned his entire family into marble as far as Vladimir's concerned. Yeah, anyone else he killed. He's going to send one more cast name to go. Just do whatever you're doing, whatever little shithole you are. And I'm sure we can get along quite well. So, um, Abigail, I, I guess I should explain. Vladimir wiped out my family. This was, mind you, a long, long time ago now. I don't know why your sister is with him. Although, Dolores, you said you met her in... A rebellion. What rebellion? Um, I I fought with the Greenwood Rebellion. Oh. Oh, I'm familiar with it. Um, helped kind of start that thing, actually. Um, I had a hand in, in finding Milo back. Um, hmm. This is very, um, very concerning. And and Abigail, you said you your si your sister is here, and you you are communicating with her. Yes. And you have been, and it was in person and stuff. Yes, she was bond and everything from the spell, but she's all weird. Well, that is weird. All right. Um, that is that is most concerning. Yeah. He knows where we are. Uh, Vladimir? Yes, he now does, apparently. Did he see everyone here? I doubt it, but, um... You never can tell with him. He's he's a very powerful sorcerer. Try... Micah. You should. Definitely root for Vladimir's demise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she goes. Wait a Try second. It? That's Terry. Terry. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> Yay. Terry. <laughs> well, wait, what Hi, Terry. What did Terry say? What did Terry say? <laughs> He's rooting for I'm rooting Vlad's for Vladimir's impending demise. demise. <laughs> we all are, buddy. We all are. She goes. Try. Micah, but definitely 
not marble. And when she came back, she had different markings on her that I did not give her. Different tattoos. Yes. Okay. Um, any other details or differences? She was human. Human. That would have been really important to tell me the first time. I did say that. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Getting tired of these fucking white-haired elf people. Watch your hey, tongue, yo. young lady. Hey, yo. Yo, you <laughs> fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fine, but you guys are really... Sometimes you're hard to deal with. She's human. Entirely. Unfortunately. And... I mean, any color hair, but probably, like... Last I saw, it was growing out, so it was brown with a little bit of green. Brown with a bit of green. Alright, let me give it a shot. He'll kind of go back into a trance for a moment. <sighs> and then kind of shake his way out of it and go, Well... I found her. Marble? No. No. Uh, she was uh, reading a pile of books. Um, she was indeed in a tower. I did not see anyone in there with her. Um, but uh, that, that, that tower is here on Gashael. She just looks to Dolores a little bit dumbfounded like did Dolores we... like I don't I don't know did we fucking duplicate her or something I I I don't know it's possible maybe maybe you pulled your her her soul out of no you don't scry on a statue that is inanimate well you can hmm. technically you can but not with the details that I gave, then it would just be a marble. It wouldn't be tattoos and things. Right? I... I don't know. I really don't know. But the mica here doesn't remember anything, so that's not going to help answer any questions. Is it possible you grabbed the wrong one? There's only one. I... She's a twin, but this, they're not both mica. Oh. She did mention that she was a twin. Um... But I, I, I didn't know if, you know, it was like a, a, a identical female and maybe because, no. like, you know, the brain was wiped or something. I don't know. It's not. Okay. I don't know then. Your guess is as good as mine. then how do I know which one is actually Micah? That is a good question for you to figure out, is it not? What? How am I supposed to figure that out? I don't know. Of course you don't. Of course. Okay. Well, where is she? She is on the southern part of the island. Um, they appear to have moved quite far, quite fast.
I take it we are going after her, yes? The mica you scribed on, a marble one, was she human? Um, her mouth was only slightly parted, but I am certain I saw a pair of kind of incisors in there. So she did appear to be a, a dampier from what I could tell. She was reading books. The other one? The other one was reading books, yes. Did she look She she was definitely human, yes. But did she look upset or scared? Honestly, not really. She was reading books and quite happy about that. The portal that is open leads directly to Adenia. It is going to be very risky for the human one or I to go back. Why is that? Because we are human. You and the Danian culture is not pro mortal, is it? It's not. It wouldn't be as much of a problem if we were born human. But we are not. Right. It thought at first that I was going to be able to bring her back in and talk our way out of it, but there's no way I will have any sway to do that now. All right, what is your plan then? Dolores kind of puts a hand on her shoulder. I could probably help. Somehow. What do you mean? If I were to, um, reach out to some of my old contacts when we get back, I think I could, um, work some things out. The mica here will not remember you, no matter if it's my original sister or not. She's still mica, isn't she? I don't know. Is she? I don't know. I wish I knew. I don't believe her and I should go back. However, it gets complicated with that fucking marble statue. Because I don't really want to leave that up to chance. Yeah, fair enough. I wouldn't want to risk it either.
Well, it's your call. What do you want to do? I'd like to at least talk to her about it. The Micah who's here. I think we should go even if we don't end up going back. That sounds good. Well, I'm I'm with you all the way. I don't really know what to say to you. You don't need to say anything. Okay? Let's just go save your sister. Alright. And do we need the vanishing dudes to come along? She's kind of looking at up there, Um... We can at least go investigate. I think that would probably be, probably be wise. Right. Okay then. All right. We have our heading. Let's go. And kind of nods and she'll get ready to follow. Uh, and as you guys work your way out of the castle, Histon's old castle now, apparently, that is where we'll leave off tonight's session. Because I Most don't combined. have anything outside of the combat written for the other side. <laughs> <laughs> which you just kind of dipped out of. <laughs> Book of combat. In the <laughs> most epic fashion. In the most epic awesome. fashion. Yes. Level 10 cleric banishing a fucking archdevil. Hell yeah. Um, Can you roll religion for me for Marcus? Let's okay. end with this. Oh, damn. That is a 26. A 26. Um, it registers with you as you guys are, are uh, gathering everyone up and preparing to leave. By the way, uh, yeah, um, the, the various household servants unable to attack you because they've been instructed not to by... Um, by, by Deidre. Um, so they just stare daggers at you as you leave. Marcus You've been racking playing. your brain this entire time. Where the heck have I seen that guy? And you, oh, shoot. He, he is one of the archdevils of, of the dozen hells. This guy... It, you, you you grab a book on your way out and you like you flip through and you're like, okay, you swing by the library and you grab a book and you're like, just to refresh my memory and oh, and you just kind of put it back up and you walk away because that was Hadeon the Destroyer. <laughs> one of the five most powerful archdevils in existence. He? No. <laughs> Shut everyone, up. everyone sees Marcus like leave the library and he's just like, He's simultaneously mortified <laughs> and a little happy with himself. Right? As he should be. You just went up against a literal god and said no. I don't said, want to. No, no. <laughs> Not today. Thank you, but no. 
She's like, do, 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 do. holy fuck, am I terrified? But I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Uh, that's great. And no one saw it but Callie. Yep. And Deidre. Actually, Callie, Callie didn't even see the whole thing. She just saw no. you just holding up your cop badge. At, Trust at me, I'm, I'm doing things right now. You don't even want to know. <laughs> Full on cop moment right there. Splash the badge. No one will. No one will do anything. Right. All right. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, let's start with Matt. Awesome. Uh, well, Matt, play the lovable and I hope lovable at least, and somehow badass cleric Marcus, which I'm still so shocked that that actually worked. Yeah, I was and, impressed. And, Pretty badass. And even though it was brief, the evil sorcerer. Vladimir Goff. Yeah, cameo from the Sorcerer Little Vladimir cameo Goff. The, cameo. Which, by the way, I have missed doing his voice so much. I love being evil. Anyway, sorry. I'll have to do uh, another evil line Vladimir. one shot at some point for you. Uh, Bring back yeah. Pro. Yeah, next person. Uh, Naz, do you want to go? Uh, I don't know that you're going to be with us next week, are you? I am. You are? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Thursday. There's I don't. Friday. I'm not playing. Oh to right, die. because your week, your, the weekend is the race. Oh, the, I thought you meant I was gonna die. No, good <laughs> gosh. Ah, <laughs> oh, please, like, you don't. Nervous. You're not allowed no. to. Do you know oh, something yeah. I don't? <laughs> You're not gonna be with us next week. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, fine. <laughs> okay, I'll just die. No. No. I guess I'll just die. That's what's, that's something that people say when they meet someone's dead. You're not going to be well, with Well, yeah, us. but you don't say it to the person. <laughs> it's know. past tense. It's like, this person is no longer with us. It's not, hey, pal, next week you're going to be no longer with us. I don't know. That's not how that works. <laughs> Okay, let's... Listen, I don't know. Unless okay. you're in the mafia or the cartel. I don't know, Marco. The and then or they the say something like, adios, muchacho, or whatever, you know? And then they... What? I don't know. Uh, don't that hurt yourself. on so many levels. <laughs> don't, don't hurt yourself, Marco. I'm Nez. I will be with us next week. You better be. <laughs> and play Abigail Yeesh. Dahlia. Oh, boy. It's a long outro from you. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. I had to explain that I'm not going to die. You, yeah, yeah. Probably. Probably. Hopefully. Definitely. Hopefully. You're not allowed to. None of you are. Um, I guess well, that leaves... There goes my plans for the weekend. Elok. It's what? Cali backwards. Okay. Arka. Aknan Elok. Don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> I'm just reading it backwards. <laughs> Akna Nilak. Played by, <laughs> played by uh, Eklis. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop. Eklis. Eklis. <laughs> stop right now. You're on notice, Markham. <laughs> <laughs> I am Selkie to the internet. Kali Naga for The Lost Continent. And I don't know, that took a lot out of me. I was really excited. I got like my elbow hurts now. Um, yeah, you you really freaking slung that elbow. Yeah. I was really excited because I was like, you know how often it is that I understand lore and Easter eggs and and like history. Not a Yo, lot. <laughs> not often. Not often. But as soon as she said, "Oh yeah, she's did it in Marvel," I'm like, bitch. <laughs> I know what's happening. With an old guy in... With an old guy with white right here. And I'm like, oh, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. And then the <laughs> well, Naz is like, oh, yeah, that's his. And I'm like, no, it's not. No, it's not. The purple, purple red, red, I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm like, I know who this is. I know where she is, <gasps> but... <I don't> know. <laughs> Ooh, Any, intense, Any. intense breathing because I have to, like, stay quiet because I live with people, so I can't be like... <laughs> Any whore. Me if they want to do any whore, y'all can 
catch us here on Dean's Denial tomorrow. Are we doing tomorrow? Is tomorrow still on? Dad, are we on for tomorrow still? I don't know. I don't know. If it's, I, if it's anniversary, <clears throat> I don't want him to get in trouble. I, I don't want to play. Please don't Dude, get in it's trouble. Anniversary? For mom. Dude. Yeah, it's his <laughs> it's yeah, it's his anniversary weekend. He's got Dude. plans for the weekend. Not Friday. Uh, as far as I know. Oh He's wait, it's the permission. anniversary weekend. Is it not the day of? No, it's a. I think it's a weekend, and Mom has given specific permission that he's allowed to, but it might. But be we're a trap. not sure if it's a trap or not. Why would you say that as a trap? Just say what you mean. <laughs> Kayla has <laughs> done that before. Anyone... Why? Any whore, you can <laughs> catch us here. You might be able to catch us here tomorrow. You might, yes. Whenever we, whenever Markham and Naz come join me and we play Legend of Kralis with our dad, Talarius Game Master, who's been hanging out in chat. Matt, you and need to watch he... one of these weeks. Oh, you need to watch some of these weeks. You would have it so much fun. Intense. Yeah, I will try it gets to watch. Intense. It's like <laughs> camping. It's intense. Yeah, um, hey, welcome back! Just in that... time for the outro. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Dad. We were Jeez. we were asking you if we know a. Okay, no Kralis no tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, so confirm you can't no catch us next tomorrow. week. You can't catch, catch us tomorrow. Us... You can't catch us next week. Next week, except so for we Naz. Will be Naz will back... be here next week. Oh, will we? We might. We might be next week, but we'll just be missing Naz because Naz will be running a fucking iron man yeah just doing badass. dope shit dope badass shit we give her we give them a lot of shit calling them short which they are but we, they are very powerful and they're very athletic and we <laughs> and we runners. love them a lot okay they, so we wish them well on their fucking iron man but so the, the rest of us may be playing still next friday um mm. where we can get into more shenanigans with our lovely, lovely, darling Team Chaos. Um, if you enjoy D&D, &D, if you're more of a D&D &D fanatic, d and now has a bunch of games that play during the week. They've got a game on Monday. They've got a game on Tuesday. Um, I Nothing hear on tell that Matt Mercer is starting a game on Wednesday here. So keep an eye out for... I don't know. I will cry. <laughs> I Matt Mercer no will level. be running a Legends of Kralis campaign on Wednesdays here. I will um, cry. Not confirmed. I don't, I don't Just I'm, not I'm trying to start the rumor wheel so it can get back to him. And then, no. and then he'll get into <laughs> No, Kralis that's how you get and... him to hate us. Why? That's how you get him to hate Because he's like, these bitches be spreading rumors about me. I ain't doing shit for them. He seems like a very nice man, and I hope he comes to play. So, like, I want to play at his table someday, but I doubt it'll ever happen. But a bitch can dream, just yeah. like you. I believe in your dreams. Believe in your heart. Did you just call me a believe... bitch? I did. <laughs> believe I think she was calling that... all of us bitches. <laughs> <laughs> believe that you are not a fish. I love you all. I'm, I'm just gonna have to slunk down for the fish. No, Markham, oh. you can't slunk down. You have to. You have to outro. Hi, my name is Rufus Mahogany. I sell chairs. <laughs> I, I swear to God, whenever I meet you in person, like we need to do like the fake names trend. I didn't know that I was a thing. I swear to God, but... no, Gosh. like you give live off, live off fake names. Yes, to make seller. your friend laugh. Believe in your bitch dreams. Believe in your bitch dreams. Um, <laughs> believe in your bitch. Night. Believe in your dreams. Uh, believe that you can do all dreams. things through, through bitchery. Yep. Believe yes. in your bitch's dreams. Believe mm. in your bitch's dreams. Support your loved ones. Support yes. your bottom. Support I... your tops. <laughs> Most of all, support and love each other. What she said. You just love each other a little bit. I, I am your you dungeon... Dungeon Lord Shigan Master Sovereign Thing Person. Um I I am Mr. Markham on everything else. Um Bitchcraft. It's bitchcraft. It's fucking bitchcraft. <laughs> the chat's killing me tonight. The chat is absolutely killing me. Um so yeah, uh we won't be here tomorrow night, but we will be here next week and then Mondays, Tuesdays, uh Mondays are Island Adventures, Tuesdays are State of the Union. 
Um, and then, of course, Thursdays here at the Lost Continent. Uh, mm. Come check us out. Um, next week, we will be following up as Abigail tries to figure out why there appears to be two of her sister. Callie, Marcus, and the others um, work their way out of this castle with Sir Wellington happily in tow. Um, they will have to work their way through a dungeon to get out of this castle because dungeon it's the crawl? only way out. So their first dungeon crawl, um, dungeon crawl, they will learn secrets that should not be known to mortals. So we'll see how that well goes and if their What's sanity up? remains intact. Oh, good luck, Marcus. Um, thank you for joining no, us. Great. Everyone stay safe, stay sane, and stay lost, everybody. Uh, lost, thank you losers. for joining us, and stay thanks lost. for helping my players override all of my plans. Because <laughs> that's what the fuck we do. <laughs> yes, it is, and I, I'm here for it. All right, good night, everybody. Good night, friends. <laughs>